Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be using Beautiful Soup and Selenium to build a web scraper that scrapes social media data. So the final product will look something like this. It is a Python script that you can run. It will launch a web browser in Chrome and it will use Selenium and Beautiful Soup to scrape various data from the site. And at the end, it will print out a nice little summary of some stats. Okay, let's build it. The first thing that we're going to want to do is create a Python file. I'm going to name mine Social Media Scraper. Next, we're going to want to create a virtual environment so we can keep our Python dependencies for this project separate from the ones on other projects on our machine. So, I mentioned earlier that we're going to need Beautiful Soup and Selenium WebDriver. Well, here's the Beautiful Soup documentation. You can find it at this URL, I'll link it in the description. And for Selenium and WebDriver, uh, I went over how to do this in a previous video, so I will link that video as a card now, and you can go to that and look how to install this, but basically you're just going to download your version of Chrome Driver and download Selenium. Now let's activate our virtual environment. Let's install Selenium. And let's install Beautiful Soup. All right, now let's import those in Python. We'll say from BS4, import Beautiful Soup. And we'll say from Selenium, import WebDriver. So the first thing I'm going to do is to find three methods that will go to Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram and I will call the methods down below. Okay, so this is our basic structure right here. So first, let's work on Twitter. First thing we need is the Twitter URL. I'm gonna use my personal Twitter account and CS Tutorials, but you can use yours. Next, we need our web driver. For this, we can say driver equals webdriver.chrome. Next, we can fetch the Twitter URL by saying driver.get and pass in that URL. And we will store the web page in a variable called content, which will be a beautiful soup object. Okay, so this is the data we're trying to scrape. We want the following and we want the followers. So if we inspect element, we can see that the followers are in a span with this class. So we can use beautiful soup to grab that. So we're going to store the page source of that URL in a variable content. And then we are going to transform that into a beautiful soup object called Twitter soup. And that will be equal to beautiful soup. And we'll pass in the content and LXML. And this is a parser right here that will parse through the code. And we can install this by pip install LXML. Okay, now we're ready to scrape. So over in Twitter, we see we want the following count and the followers count. And over here in the source code, we can see the followers and following are in a span tag with this class. So what we can do, we can copy this class and we can use beautiful soup syntax to grab that. We can say stats equals Twitter soup dot find all. We want all the spans and we want the spans where the class Oops, where the class is equal to what we just copied. We're using the find all method to find all spans with this class and storing that in stats. Now, if we loop through each of these stats and we say for stat in stats, print stat dot text. Because if we just print the stat, that will print the HTML tag with it. We don't want that. We just want the text. And we'll say dot strip. We use a strip method to strip all the white space that we do not want. Now, before we run that, let's comment these out. Perfect. And let's test this out. And there we go. You see we get 85 and 172. And those are the only numbers that we want. 
So 85 is following, 172 is followers. Now what we can do is we can access that by stats zero using our indexing syntax dot text dot strip. And that is this 85 here, which is the following. So we'll store that in a variable called following. And then we'll say followers equals the same thing. Just replace that zero with a one. And then at the end here, let's print out a nice message. There we go. So we're saying print Twitter stats, and then we're using this format syntax where we can put placeholders in and then pass in what we want thereafter. So now if we run this again, we should get this nice line with the actual numbers in there. Perfect. There we go. All right, on to Instagram. So Instagram will be very similar to Twitter. First, we need the URL. Again, I'm using my account, but you can use yours. Now, the next part, I'm going to copy from Twitter. We need the driver. We need to get the URL. We need the content, and we need to transform that into a beautiful Zoop object. Now, we need to change a couple things. First, we're going to replace Twitter URL with Instagram URL. And down here, we're going to rename this and call it Instagram Soup. All right, let's take a look at what we're working with. Just like Twitter, we're going to go to the profile page. And as you can see, when we inspect, it looks like the data we need is again in a span tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for all span tags and see what we get. So we'll say stats equals insta soup dot find all and we'll pass in span. And down here we will loop through the stats and print out them all. So we'll say for stat in stats print stat and again we want the text and we want to strip it of any unnecessary white space back in our terminal let's run this again and let's see what we get all right so we're getting a lot of stuff but if we scroll up here we go we notice that 22 229 86 the numbers that we want are luckily for us right at the top now we have this one way white space here, but this is at index one, two, and three. So just like we did with Twitter, we can grab those by indexing. So we can say posts, which is the first one, equals stats one dot text dot strip. Let's do that for all three. Perfect. So now we have posts, followers, and following. We are grabbing the number and we are getting the text and stripping out the white space and after we get that just like above we're going to print out a nice message and here's our message again with the formatting syntax and passing in the variables at the end let's run this and see what we get awesome so here's our message and it looks like it worked last but not least youtube again we need the again we need the url so we'll say YouTube URL equals, and this is my channel right here. And we are just going to the about page. Okay, so this is just like we've been doing. We set the driver to WebDriver Chrome, we get the URL, we store the content of that page into a variable content and transform that into a beautiful soup object. Okay, this is the page that we will be scraping. And if you look here, we have YouTube formatted string is the tag, and the class is right here. So we can copy those, and we're going to find all and store them in the views. Okay, there we go. Variable views, we're finding that. And let's loop through the views. And we're gonna say, instead of printing them out, we're going to check, we're gonna say if, views in view dot text so if this word views is in the text then we want to save that to the variable views so that is the views and then let's get the subscribers up here if we inspect here 
we see this has an ID subscriber count, so we can use that to our advantage. We can say subscribers equals YouTube soup dot find all ID equals oops, ID equals subscriber count. And because that will only return one element, we can say dot text dot strip right here. We have to be careful you can't use this on a list. All right, now that we have the views and the subscribers, let's print that out. Okay, there we go. Whoops, and be careful, we don't want find all, we just want find. Okay, now we run this. There we go. Executes correctly and we get this nice message. Let's uncomment all of them and run everything. Here we go. Awesome, there we go. See it successfully goes through each site and prints the stats we want. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Here's the final code. I'll also link this to my GitHub in the description so you can go and easily download that if you'd like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.